In this tutorial, a simulation in the NPT ensemble is carried out by molecular dynamics simulation with a mixture of oxygen and acetone. Open the MS2 PAR to create the parameter file. SI units are selected. For more information on reduced units, refer to the video on Monte Carlo simulation in the MPT ensemble. Enter the reference length in angstrom. Enter the reference energy in Kelvin, that is, energy divided by the Boltzmann constant. Enter the reference mass unit in atomic mass units. We are going to perform a molecular dynamics simulation. There are two integrators available in MS2, that is, Gears Predictor Corrector Integrator and the Leapfrog Integrator. Here we choose the Gear Integrator. Enter the time step between consecutive MD steps and choose the appropriate units. Note that if water molecules are simulated, the time step must be smaller than 1 femtosecond. Enter the number of Monte Carlo relaxation cycles performed before the equilibration. This is useful at high densities because the initial configuration is an arbitrarily assigned FCC lattice. The relaxation Monte Carlo cycles avoid extremely large forces at the beginning of the molecular dynamics simulation. Choose the NPT ensemble. Enter the number of NVT equilibration time steps. NVT equilibration is important for obtaining a favorable configuration for the start of the NPT simulations. Enter the number of NPT equilibration time steps. Enter the number of production time steps for the actual sampling of thermodynamic properties. Specify the update frequency for the .rav file. This also specifies the frequency by which the run file is updated. Specify the update frequency for the result file or .res file. Specify the update frequency for writing the configurations to the WIM file for later visualization purposes. No WIM file will be created if the entered value is zero. In this example, we use the center of mass cutoff. This cutoff mode is faster than the alternative side side cutoff mode. We advise to use the reaction field method for the long-range correction of electrostatic interactions. If you are simulating ionic systems, the Ewald summation is the appropriate choice. Enter the temperature. Enter the pressure. Enter an initial density. This value is only a guess and does not necessarily have to correspond to the specified pressure. However, a value too far from the desired density might require longer equilibration. This parameter is only needed for a phase equilibrium calculation with the grand equilibrium method. Enter the recommended value for the piston mass according to Anderson's barostat. Enter the number of particles. To specify a molecular force field model, upload the respective .pm files. 
Let us use the oxygen potential model file as an example. Enter the molar fraction of oxygen molecules, that is 0 0.08. Add the acetone potential model file. The molar fraction is automatically set to 0 0.92. Specify the method of calculating the chemical potential for oxygen. Select the O2.pm file and then the ChemPot method. The chemical potential is calculated using Widom's test particle insertion method. Specify the number of test particles for Widom's insertion method. Perform the same procedure for the acetone potential model. Enter the binary interaction parameters eta and xi of the modified lorentz bertelot combination rule. Click on the Calculate Max Cutoff to determine the maximum cutoff radius. In this new window, you may further reduce the maximum cutoff radius. The dielectric constant for the reaction field medium can be entered here. If you want to use tinfoil boundary conditions, choose a very large value. Save the PAR file you created. Give it a name. Run the simulation using the PAR file and the MS2 executable. You will then see the following output files. Thank you for watching this tutorial.